what is the value of x given that you have 3 to the power of x equals 5 to the power of x so from here let's have it to be solution let's introduce log log 3 to the power of x equals log 5 to the power of x then let us recall that when we have log p to the power of m equals m multiplied by log p so from here we have x times log td equals x times log 5 so from here don't cancel this x if you try to cancel this x you are not going to have solution for the problem so let's have it as x multiplied by log td taking this one here minus x multiplied by log 5 then set it to be equals 0 what is coming between this and this is x so we are going to have x outside this divided by this we have log 3 this divided by this we have log 5 we close the parentheses equals 0 so from here for this expression to be equal 0 it's only when x equals 0 because it's clear that here is constants so from here this implies we have x to be equals 0 so x equals 0 is the solution for the problem given to us then let's use another method let's call it method 2 recall that we have t to the power of x equals 5 to the power of x so from here let's divide 2 by 5 to the power of x it is obvious that when this cancel out this so we are going to have 3 to the power of x over 5 to the power of x then here will be 1 then from the law of indices again when we have a to the power of m over b to the power of m this can be interchanged as a over b in parentheses to the power of m so from here we have 3 over 5 in parentheses to the power of x then equals 1 so from here we want to make sure that this side equivalent to this side and to create something like that we must have here to be the same as this they have the same base but let us recall from the law of indices that when we have a to the power of zero equals one so therefore when we have two to the power of zero you say equals one and we have here to be three over five meaning that when we have three divided by five then all in parentheses to the power of zero it must give us one from this law of indices so let's replace this one here so we are going to have three over five in parentheses to the power of s equals three over five in parentheses to the power of zero then we are looking at this expression they have the same power so they have the same base with different power let us recall when we have a to the power of m equals a to the power of n so far they have the same base with different power this implies m equals n sometimes so by applying that one here so we can equate this as x will be equals zero 
so we still get the same thing for this x equals zero then we also have another method that we can also apply and let's see or let's check first to check when we have 3 to the power of s equals 5 to the power of s and we get x to be equals 0 so therefore here will be 3 to the power of 0 then it's going to give us 5 to the power of 0 3 to the power of 0 is 1 and this will be equals 1 5 to the power of 0 is 1 so seeing the left hand side equals to the right hand side this implies a x equals 0 is correct then let's see likewise when you are given something as take it to the power of s equals 2 to the power of x plus 1 so from here this there is a way of solving this one as well so we are going to have 3 to the power of s because 2 to the power of s times 2 to the power of 1 because from the law of indices when we have a to the power of m plus n equals a to the power of m times a to the power of n so from here we have 3 to the power of s equals 2 to the power of x times 2 to the power of 2 let's divide 2 by 2 to the power of x so we have 3 to the power of x over 2 to the power of x equals this and this we cancel here will be 2 so when we have this by applying the law we have 3 over 2 in parentheses to the power of s equals 2 so from here let's introduce log to both sides so we are going to have log 3 over 2 in parentheses to the power of s equals log 2 and when we have log P to the power of m always equals m multiplied by log p so this will be x multiplied by log 3 over 2 equals log 2 so dividing 2 by log 3 over 2 this one would cancel this so we have x to be log 2 in this 3 over 2 so if you are new here and you find this video interesting don't forget to share, like, comment and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more tutorial videos